What is up, everyone? This is going to be the season review of the Denver Broncos, a team that had a great start and then kind of sizzled out towards the end, had some rough injuries, and then, of course, the quarterback problems uh, that we're going to talk about first here. Uh, So Trevor Simeon and Paxton Lynch, the two guys going into next year, I don't like either of them. I think Denver uh, is either going to go into next year with Trevor Simeon as their guy, or they will... Uh, grab a veteran, um, you know, Tony Romo getting thrown out a lot, but there's other options out there too. Uh, you know, I don't think Denver wants to see Jay Cutler back, but I think it would at least be an upgrade uh, from Trevor Simeon. So that's just one name. There's a lot of other guys being thrown around as well. So uh, we'll see uh, who their starter is going into next season. I don't think it's going to be Paxton Lynch. I think he needs a lot more time to develop. I was not impressed with what I saw from him this year. Uh, And then at running back, you know, I think it's CJ Anderson is the lead guy again. You know, he was awesome to start. And when he went down, really that whole offense kind of lost its identity. They weren't able to get the same production uh, from the combination of Booker and Cabri Bibbs. They tried to bring in Justin Forsett as a desperation play. That didn't work out either. Uh, So really got to get CJ Anderson healthy I like his game a lot. I had him as a top 10 running back before this season started. Um, Not sure if he still sits there or not. That's uh, for another time. Uh, And then onto the receivers. I'm curious what Denver fans think about this. Uh, I really struggle between who should be higher between these two. I think Emmanuel Sanders is the more um, craftier, uh, overall better receiver slightly. I think Demarius Thomas his athleticism uh, and his size give him an advantage as well. But, um, you know, just two different guys. I have Sanders as an excellent route runner, and I think his catch in traffic, one of the most underrated traits. Madden had it as as a low 90s. I have it as an 88. I think he is the best receiver in the NFL at catching the ball when he knows he's about to get drilled. He's had some crazy impressive catches in traffic, which is by definition what that stat is. Uh, and then Demarius Thomas, of course, just the speed and size and run after catch ability. And then the, it's also pretty remarkable the drop off after those two. Um, but I, I think whatever quarterback comes in is going to have a good time uh, thrown to these two guys. Still probably the best one two punch uh, at receiver. And then the tight end, you know, they acquired AJ Derby. We didn't see a ton of him. Um, but I think going into next year, he'll probably be the lead tight end. Virgil Green just didn't really work out as a receiving tight end. Still a good blocker. Uh, and then on the offensive line, uh, Russell Okung, Madden really shot him down. He was a 73. I think he still has some game. Uh, I think most of the problems on this offensive line, which were well documented, actually came from the right side. Uh, you know, Max Garcia and Matt Paradis <coughs> should be the starters next season, especially Paradis. Uh, this guy's a stud. Um, but Michael Schofield, this guy is a problem. They tried him at right tackle, and it was really embarrassing. Moved him to guard, and then the the other tackle, Donald Stevenson, struggled. Um, so this is the main problem for the Broncos. I don't think it matters who they get at quarterback if they can't fix the right side of the line, uh, and they don't have a ton of money to do it. So it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, spread out those resources. Uh, and then – Defensively, still probably the best defense in football. Uh, Seattle, a healthy Seattle right there. Uh, And then some other teams, you know, Minnesota behind them. And Houston getting J.J. Watt. But anyway, um, Derek Wolf uh, was an 81, which surprised me. You know, he was just as good as the year before, which was excellent uh, until he went down for the year. So I moved him back to where he was before he got hurt. Uh, And then, you know, the rest of this D-line is going to be a point of emphasis this off season. Uh, and then Von Miller, I played around with a little bit. I'm trying to stay away from 99s um, just to uh, kind of balance that out a little bit. Don't want any player to be overly ridiculous, but uh, Von Miller, his agility is what makes him so special. I think Madden has him with an 88 agility. I moved him up to a 93. He's just literally an elastic band out there. Um, 
so I'm I have yet to play with him at that rating, but I think that's going to be a good change to him. Uh, and then a, a guy here, Shaq Barrett. Uh, we didn't really hear his name at all. A lot of people thought he was going to be uh, kind of this year's Olivier Vernon hits free agency um, and gets a huge paycheck uh, just because he wasn't getting a ton of opportunity. Um, but he did not really impress. Uh, so we'll see where he ends up and if anyone's willing to pay him. Uh, and then Brandon Marshall's stud. Uh, these linebackers, you know, this whole defense is just so good. I agreed with these ratings of these corners uh, for Denver and then uh, the young Roby. Stewart, I moved up. Uh, he's just, you know, one of the commanders of this defense, and he just absolutely lights people up. So I was impressed with Darian Stewart this year. Uh, and then TJ Ward, uh, another solid player. Uh, but as far as a team grade for the Broncos, you know, I give them a B minus. Uh, I think a lot of people were expecting regression with the departure of Peyton Manning, uh, but they they really did uh, start strong. When they lost C.J. Anderson, that was very, very crippling to this offense, uh, and they just weren't able to uh, have enough consistency on that side of the ball. I think we'll see them dedicate most of their resources to the offense um, this offseason, and I would expect them to be right there with uh, the Super Bowl favorites to start next season. So that's going to conclude uh, the Broncos here, uh, and uh, we're going to move on to the Browns next. Uh, like I said in the intro video to all these, I'm going to try and get four teams done um, at a time. So, uh, you know, there'll be another batch of these videos coming out. Uh, within the next two days. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe. Give me a like if you if you like these videos. And then definitely comment if you're a fan of these teams. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, so thank you and peace out.